It's going to be an interesting briefing. Um, I have a few things for all of you at the top. So today the Biden-Harris administration is announcing a set of concrete steps to accelerate investments in our ports, waterways, and freight networks. These goals and timelines will mobilize federal agencies, get money out of the door for high impact projects faster, and lay the foundation for successful implementation of the historic investments included in the bipartisan infrastructure deal for our supply chains, jobs, growth, and competitiveness. This action plan will increase federal flexibilities for port grants, accelerate port infrastructure grant awards, identify project locations for coastal navigation, inland water, waterway, and land ports of entry, and launch the first round of expanded port infrastructure grants. Outdated infrastructure has real cost for families, as we all know, for our economy and for our competitiveness. We're seeing that right now, even as we move record goods through our ports. With supply chain bottlenecks forming that, that lead to higher prices and lower deliveries for American families. Even as we take immediate action, we have a chance to make lasting fixes through the bipartisan infrastructure deal. The bipartisan infrastructure deal includes a total of $17 billion to improve infrastructure at coastal ports, inland ports and waterways, and land ports of entry along the border. This is the single largest federal investment in our ports in U.S. history. And these investments will improve the efficiency, sustainability, and resiliency of these hubs of commerce. As you all know, the President will be visiting the Port of Baltimore tomorrow where he will further discuss the administration's port action plan and the historic investment in ports in the bipartisan infrastructure deal.